In this video, we're going to talk about a recent privacy concern that's become apparent in Apple Calendar, the iCloud calendars. This morning, the view we're looking at here is, is my Mac calendar, which is uh, connected to Gmail. And in those Gmail calendars, I've also got iCloud calendars connected as well. So when I logged in this morning, I got a notification pop-up that looked like this. So with this notification, it's an event that I've been asked to attend. So the problem that we have here and where the privacy issue becomes quite a bad hole that Apple need to address is that we've only got three options down the bottom. We've got maybe, decline or accept. Now, any of these options that we select is going to send a notification back to the event organizer, this person here, uh, and it's going to confirm that that's a valid email address that they've got. So the addresses that are in this list here, some of them may be valid, some of them won't. But pressing maybe decline or accept sends the notification back to the event organizer. So there's actually no way that we can back out of this without confirming they've sent us an invite to our current address, which is valid. I suspect once they get that notification back, not only will they keep spamming the calendar, but then they will sell your email address on lists. And consequently, the email address, if it's a business email address, will just be destroyed with spam at a very, very fast rate, I would imagine. So let's now take a look at how we can minimize the damage to this and how we can use there's various ways of getting around it if you have actually pressed maybe decline or accept but what's a a better preventative way to to deal with this so that we don't send them back a notification to confirm our email address so let's take a look at that now okay so here we are at icloud.com and we're going to sign in with our apple id We're then going to click on the calendar icon. And this initial view here is the iCloud calendar view. As you can see here, we've got the Ugboot Black Friday sale. If we click, uh, we get the same sort of screen that we saw previously at the start of the video. Uh, we've got maybe decline or accept. So any of those options are going to confirm to the event organizer that it's a valid account, a valid email address. Uh, so we, there's two things that are going to happen here. They will continue to then increase the volume of events that they send you in your calendar. In work calendars, that's got the potential to completely destroy the calendar. You'll get so many alerts and notifications, you'd need to delete the calendar. That can be disastrous if you've got hundreds or thousands of events and meetings in your calendar. The other option is that once your email gets onto these spammers lists, you're going to get inundated with spam emails, which will render your account useless very fast. Okay, so let's have a look at how we can actually change one quick setting and it will eliminate this very this problem nearly completely. So we'll just click away from that. So what we do is we navigate down to the cog icon down in the bottom left. We select preferences. And in preferences, we choose advanced. And then down the bottom here, you can say, see invitations, receive event invitations as in-app notifications, or we can say email to my email address. So what we do here is we press save. And what happens is we've now said that any notifications for new events, whether they want us to select maybe decline or accept, will come via email. When we receive the email, we can just simply delete the email and it will never send a confirmation back to the spammer that it's a valid address. That should try and minimize the amount of spam and damage to your calendars, but hopefully Apple will take this as a serious privacy issue and close this loophole as fast as they possibly can. This is actually starting to gain quite a lot of traction over the last few days. What we want to keep in mind here is that this is not going to stop spam events coming into your calendar. What this will do is minimize the risk of those notification pop-ups coming in on your screen or maybe even coming in on somebody else's screen uh, if you've got PAs and so forth that may actually click decline on your behalf and consequently add you onto the spammers list.